Hello, I'm uh, Dr. Peter Harrop, Chairman of ID TechX, and the interview this time is uh, GenX, uh, which has uh, an origin for the word. We're going to ask about it, and we're going to ask about the company, which has an innovative, flexible battery, I believe. Could you explain to us and who you are and your position? Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, hi, my name is EJ Shin. I'm from a company called GenX. Genox is a combination of two words, Jesus and Ox. And Ox means king in Greek. Um, we have a corporate culture deeply rooted in Christian values. Um, so we make a flexible lithium ion uh, battery, as you can see here. Um, so it's very bendable to any direction you want, uh, rollable. Uh, it can be in any form that's necessary for the applications. And it's rechargeable? Yes, yes, it is rechargeable. Is it a lithium-ion type of battery? Or? Yes, it's lithium-ion. Is it solid state? No, we use gel polymer electrolyte yeah. uh, to increase safety. Right. And how is it uh, different from other flexible batteries that are rechargeable? So our biggest difference is the degree of flexibility. Ah. So where um, some thin batteries can be bendable a little bit, whereas ours is very flexible, <laughs> so to speak. Of course. Yes. And you can stack them, they won't be as flexible, but you can get uh, a multiple of the energy storage by stacking them. Yes, yes that's also indeed. possible. Okay. Yes. And um, can you explain these pictures, the images here? There's Samples you're showing? Yes, so we put it in a um, wearable, fashionable form um, ah, out of leather. Whether, uh, I mean, the packaging can be various forms. Yep. Um, but for wearables and IoT, the design and the style is very important. So yes, yes, we put it into yeah. a more preferable. Yeah, but uh, people usually just try and make a flexible battery as engineers and they make no attempt at cosmetics or anything, do they? They just make something that they hope someone will use. Um, what if, if, if I was asking you to guess, because you're an early stage company, aren't you? You're relatively new? Um, the company was established in 1991. Right. Um, the battery uh, department is its a new business that, unit for us. That's the new part. Yes. So because it's relatively new, it's a, 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 a possibly an unfair question, but on your current guesses, what do you think the application will be that will be the winner for you, the biggest one in the next 10 years? So the, in our estimated um, guess and the forecast would be the medical. Um, healthcare industry yeah. is transforming to uh, have more home care yeah. um, practice for the yeah. patients and the people who need a special monitoring uh, right. process. Right. So that will be very promising field um, for all of us yeah. as users. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And IoT devices for um, industrial applications is also right. important. Right. Yes. Right. And, but you, if you're going to put things um, out in large numbers for IoT, you have a problem of recharging, I suppose. So you would act, you would possibly offer one one day combined with energy harvesting, would you? Or Yes. Solar panel layer? Or yes. Something? So that's up to the uh, company that's building up the final device. Mm. So if, if energy harvesting uh, is embedded in there, it can be connected with a uh, flexible battery as an yeah. energy storage yeah. um, to last longer, for example. And, and do you think in the next 10 years you might have an opportunity to perhaps work with someone to combine it with a display perhaps or something? Oh yes, of course. Yeah. So when the flexible display mm. is in the market yes. and it's mm. near to us for our daily mm. life, yes, definitely yeah. there will be a, a very big uh, advancement as users as well. That's exciting. That's yes. wonderful. And so yes. in, in the case of, um, say, getting to a point where you're selling a million a year, hopefully, of some application, Roughly, what will the price be? Are you talking many dollars or cents or what? So, um, of course, it depends on the volume and the sizes of the battery, yes. but we would like for these industries to grow as fast as they can, which means that this component cost is also important in advancing the industry. So we believe that we need to provide the value, high, 
uh, value as well as reasonable cost. Mm. Um, so we're hoping it to be a um, couple of times more uh, than the conventional lithium-ion uh, cells. The button battery. Yes. So they are incredibly cheap. Yes, that's a problem. Well, not the coin cells, but no. yes. Oh, conventional, right. Yes. Okay. Uh, you have a screen behind you that seems to be taught, I don't know what it's telling us, but are you giving a message about damage tolerance or something? Tearing them up? <laughs> yes, we have some videos about um, safety and the flexibility of the battery, how flexible it is. So we do various kinds of testings on durability of the battery, depending on how many times of bending you do, what degree of the bending you do, mm. and also cutting of the battery, etc. How many of you are there on the battery project? Um, our company is about uh, 50 people. All right. Yes. So located where? We are located in South Korea. Ah, right, indeed. Ah, that's the most exciting. So, other applications um, on the horizon? Can you share with us any other applications? Obviously, medical is very interesting, as mm -hmm. you say. Yes. What, what else? So. Um, one of the exciting ones would be, rather than an industry, I would say it's more interdisciplinary. So, meaning that it's not just medical company or a device medical device company doing things. Yes. You are collaborating with different yes. companies from different industry to yeah. create something different and exciting yes. and innovative. So I think that's what it is when it comes to IoT. Yeah. You are not just developing one by yourself. You're combining different technologies yeah, yeah. from different industries yeah. to bring the expertise yeah. to yeah. create more right. value to the customers. Right. And, and might we expect in the years to come from you wider ones, wide area ones? This is a, a narrow, you're showing us something quite narrow. What do, will you be able to do wider? Oh, yes, of course. We, um, our sizes range depending on the uh, uh, application. Yeah. So this is one of the applications because we were we just wanted to show it here. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the other sizes can be bigger as as you know, a piece of paper yeah. or small, um, like half of this size. Yeah. So in the video, you can see bigger, yeah. 20 centimeter long, 20 by 20 centimeter. Yeah. Uh, that's being bent. Yeah. And the interest so far in these early days is from yeah. what particular part of the value chain? Is it, you know, people who want to sell a finished product, or is it chemical companies who would love to have some feedstock they could make in vast mm -hmm. quantities, or? How are things going, or is it? Um, if it's unfair question because it's too early, do say so. But <laughs> no, um, we do work with various companies in a different level in the supply chain. So um, rather than distributors, uh, we work with creative engineers who are developing next generation products. Yeah. Well, thank you, Mrs. Shin. That's wonderful. Thank exciting you. project. Good thank luck. You. Very impressive. Thank, thank you. you.